What is up, YouTube? PPS here. Back. New year. Um, happy New Year to everybody. I uh, hope you guys got to spend time with some friends, family, uh, whoever you did it with. Uh, either go out to bars, um, stay in. I didn't go out last night um, after that last um, Georgia game. Did end up cashing in pretty heavily on Georgia. Um, as a Big Ten guy, I just did not trust Cade McNamara to do anything in the spotlight. And luckily, came came true. Um, but yeah, yesterday was okay. Not a great day overall. Pretty even um, on the day. I have a huge slate for today, actually. Um, did lose our Delaware Charleston game. I watched the last 10 minutes of that game. Um, and Charleston was completely out of sorts. They're like the third fastest um, time to getting the ball at the time shooting the ball. Um, and they just went away from that yesterday. Um, don't know why. Um, did not use their fast break at all and just made uncharacteristic mistakes. Um, free throw shooting at the end of games was awful. I think they were shooting like 90% throughout the whole game. Last 10 minutes, I think there was four front ends of one and ones that were missed. Turnovers were terrible. It was just, it was just bad basketball, guys. And there's really not much else I can say about it. Um, but yeah, it's time to get back on track here. Um, new year, like I said. Um, and yeah, I have one NCAA play for you guys. I already posted one over on Twitter, so make sure you go over there. Um, and we'll have some information at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay through this video um, to see what we got to talk about at the end. So play of the day here. It's going to be Western Illinois team total over 80. Um, and these guys are actually beast guys. I hope you guys have taken notice that the Western Illinois Leathernecks are actually very, very good at basketball. Um, their last two games, yes, they have lost. But these dudes run up and down the court. They're fun to watch. Um, they've hit this 80 mark, one, two, three, four, four of their last seven, uh, hitting 78 and two of the, uh, in the one of the misses. Um, they even put some points up on Iowa, uh, put up 71 points on Iowa. Um, and, and they're fast, guys. They're one of the faster teams. I was not expecting to see this. Um, they're sitting at um, 46 in the country in tempo. Um, and that actually is going to be five full possessions higher than St. Thomas, the team they are playing today. So I'm hoping that we get that up and down affair here. Um, and I think we do. I think Western Illinois is going to be a fun team to watch here. Um, they're an overs team. St. Thomas is an overs team. St. Thomas, um, listen, listen to these numbers on their stats. Um, they're sitting at 87th in the country in offensive efficiency. And 357 on defensive efficiency. I think there's a total of 360 teams. Um, let me check because it was it was terrible. There's 358 teams, guys, in the country. They are second worst in um, adjusted defense. And now you're going to play against a Western Illinois team who is going to be faster, right? They're going to make you they're going to make you run with them. And they're 153 in the country in offensive efficiency. These dudes can score. They, they've shown they can. They put up 80 multiple times, and now you have one of the worst defenses having to play up to your tempo here. And Western Illinois is a deep team. They have four guys who average double figures this year, three of them over 15 a game. Um, Carius, 17.4 a game. Massner, 16. And Sandage, 15 a game. Um, with a defense this bad, I don't see a reason why none of those guys can get theirs tonight. Um, like I said, five possession boost for St. Thomas. Um, and the top three scorers are very, very versatile. They are able to do pretty much anything that they want to on the court. Um, their top three scorers, the guys I just listed, all shoot 38 plus percent from down um from downtown. And I'm very, very excited to see these guys just light up this scoreboard. I think this game flies over. I think that this game is um one of the more fun ones that's going to be going completely under the radar because no one really pays attention to these mid-major teams. Um, we saw it yesterday in that Delaware game. Um, these mid-major games, they have big edges if you if you know what you're looking at. Obviously, we lost yesterday, but we got over three points of CLV. I don't be I wouldn't be surprised to see Western Illinois around the 82, 82 and a half mark by tip off because people are going to see that this St. Thomas team is dreadful on the defensive side. Um, like I said, second worst in the country. That's impressive. There's a lot of bad teams in the country right now. Um, and I think that we see Western Illinois exploit it. Um, and, yeah, so I was going to say something. I told you guys I was going to have something at the end of the video. I know a lot of you guys just swift through the video, so this is for you guys who stay along. Uh, I have a max play for tonight, first play of the year. So make sure 
If you guys are watching this video, like this video, shoot me a DM um, and with a screenshot that you like the video, subscribe, everything. I want to give you that a max play if you shoot me that DM. I'm very excited for it. Um, I had five all of last year. And we're going to have one on the first of the year. So very exciting time. Um, happy New Year to all. Um, hope the best health for you and your family. Um, and I will be ready for another winner here. So hopefully we can get this um, Western Illinois team total over 80 to cash and that max play that we have in our back pocket. So thank you guys so much. We will talk soon.